Okay. Was the first condition a little bit better or do you have any questions? The, the class is closed and we start again. Oh, but it's no problem. The, the, with the first conditional, did you finish the exercises? Yeah, a little confused. Still confused? Yeah, a little. But... Just a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But they're good exercise. Okay, okay. Um, okay. So what what is the confusing to what the when to use will, when to use the verb or what? Uh, okay, let me see if I can find the uh okay. I have um 91% correct, but I don't know what is the wrong. I just did um just one one page. One page, the first page. I don't know is the first because only I can I, you I was you able need to, to complete the, the exercise faster. What is the first sentence? Uh you want I don't know. I don't know if it's correct. You won't pass the exam if you don't study. I don't know if it's correct. Okay. All right. Let me see. You won't pass the and exam. I, yes. I yes, was please. able just to open one page and I shared to my partners and they even didn't open the exercise. Really? Mm -hmm. We can't. We can't okay. open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's no problem. The, do you have the pages? If you want to practice later, you can uh -huh. open the, yeah. imp the important is that we understand that when we use uh -huh. the if, uh, always in the part with if, we are not going to use uh, uh, the verb with will, only the verb, oh. always the other is will. In the if is only the verb. That's okay. So for example, you won't pass the exam. Why won't? Because in the other part is if. And then if I have to use the verb in, in present, not the verb in future. Okay, so the first is, is okay. You won't pass the exam if you don't study. Correct. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So on, on, on the clause of if is in present. Yes, all the ones with if, the, mm -hmm. if, the verb is in present, correct. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm starting to understand. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. The second is, will we go to the concert if I buy the tickets? Correct. Okay, okay. Because only... And if you get a driving license, mm -hmm. I think this is... Uh, this is a present. Will if you drive you get, the school bus? Will you drive the school bus? Uh huh. Correct, because in the if is the verb in present, in the other is okay. will. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, so this good. Okay. My mother won't go out if, if the rain doesn't stop. Correct. Let the uh, the number four is. My mother won't go out. If the rain yes. doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. Number five, if you don't hurry, you won't touch the plane. Correct. Okay, the sixth, if it is snow, if it is snow tomorrow, will we go skim? If yes. Okay, I don't know why I say I 91%. Okay, so I don't know what is wrong. <laughs> the 91, maybe if you had one wrong and you change, yeah. then it's mm -hmm. 91. I know, but I don't know what is wrong. Okay, I think. Okay, I will, but that, I like this exercise. Okay. So now you understand. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Now you understand yeah. a little bit more the idea that conditionals is always the same structure. If 
is the verb and the other is going to be the will or the won't, okay? If you study, you will get good grades. You will get good grades if you study. The order is not important. The important is that you use it, the correct grammar structure. If the verb in present. Is that better? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Now, like I say, if you want, you still have the other. If still it's a little confusing, you can practice the others for tomorrow or another day. And that way you are sure that you understand and you have more opportunities to improve. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody else have any other questions? No? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to go ahead and try with the platform. Now that we understand a little bit more with the extra examples, we're going to try to see if we can finish the sentences in the platform. Now to finish the sentences in the platform, this is 4.11. Let me share my screen with you so that we are clear. With my partner on 4.11, what happens if you eat less junk food? Let's try together. That way it's better. What happens if you eat less junk food? Uh, you might lose weight. Okay, you, might, you may lose weight. Okay, mm -hmm. good. What if you walk to work every day? You will stay in shape without joining a gym. Mm, interesting. Look the same structure if the verb in present the other part with will if the verb in present the other part is with the models may might or will number three if you don't get enough sleep you won't be able to stay awake in class okay, okay. number four If you exercise, you might feel, I don't know how to say. Healthier. Healthier. Healthier? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. And the last one, number five. If you don't get married, you will have more money to spend on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Very good. Look, all of our answers are correct. Any questions? Oh, uh, no, not for now. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to do the last activity, which is reading for specific information. We're going to read and make sure that we understand. Here we have a small video. So first, okay, let's watch the video and then we're going to read. After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. Okay, so the question is, what is more difficult? Falling in love or staying in love? We're going to read and then we are going to answer that question. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Who is going to read the first paragraph? Me. All right, go for it. Okay, you're seeing, you're seeing that you're falling in love. Uh, you're really attract, attract to a certain person, but this has happened before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our readers say. Good. Who's number two? Uh, can I? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, you'll find yourself talking to or, to or telephoning the person for no reason. 
you might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. Good. Number three. You'll find yourself bringing this person into if every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins. You interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Cool. The next one. It's okay. Everybody has to read. Don't be scared. Can we repeat? <laughs> we have a lot of partners. What happened? Yeah. I don't hear Perla. I don't hear Sonia. Mm -hmm. What happened, Rosa? I don't need to listen. Okay, let's repeat. Go Me ahead. Teacher. Okay, Nidi. Uh, you you might suddenly be interested in the in things you you say to about when a woman asks me to tell her all about football i know she's falling in love said a tv sport i'm not an announcer announcer good good who is next Me teacher. Okay, Perla. Um, okay, so you be falling in love, but falling in love is one thing, and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your, your relationship will change. You miss not uh, much about the person you are in love with. You might not in her hair so often, uh, but this person will never tell it, become more and more important in your life. Thank you. And the last one. You um, find that you can be disappear with this person when you feel pain in love. You were probably afraid to admit some type thing about yourself, but now you can be totally honest. You can treat him or her to accept you. You just, just as you are. Finally, and now it's gonna extend in love. It's even better. Good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> are there any words you don't know? Hi, teacher. Which one? Which word? Any word you don't know? I think all words uh, is fine. I think all, all this is okay. It's okay. It's so fine. We, yeah. It's fine, I think. Yeah. Okay. What is never, never less? Never the last. Ah, nevertheless, is, it is not in it doesn't mind or it's not important but this person will nevertheless become more and more important will is is not is not specific is not is not related for one or the other for example i don't speak to the person but the person is more important this is the nevertheless they are like for connecting opposite ideas
Ah, I, okay. Okay. I, I like I like I like pizza. Nevertheless, it's bad for my health. It's for the opposite ideas. Any other questions or words? Oh, no, I think it's interesting, oh. but that's mm -hmm. fine. Okay, good. So now with our partners, we're going to have a small discussion about that. What do you think is more difficult, falling in love or staying in love? Mm -hmm. You're going to give your opinion to your partners and we're going to talk about why, okay? So for example, in, in, in many countries, it's difficult, the marriage. Many, many couples, now they don't continue to be married. They divorce very quickly. Mm -hmm. And not only in El Salvador, in many, many countries. Oh. Yes. It's very intense. Love is very intense. So it's better to be single and no distraction. <laughs> both to me, both are very difficult. <laughs> About you. <laughs> to me. To me. Okay. Back in two. Okay. In the chat, we have two things, two links. One is for marriage. The first link is marriage. And the second link is about love. And with your partner, we're going to discuss one marriage and the other one love. We're going to ask and answer each other the questions. We ready? Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Let's try it.
Okay. So now that you discussed a little bit about marriage and love, what is your opinion? Do you have to be in love to be married? Do you have to be married and be in love? What do you think? Which one is harder? Which one is easier? I think it's the fall in love is the more is difficult to find a person to me, yeah, to me, fall in love. To for know me, the for person, me. Uh, for me, okay, for me is to know the person and you can see in 15 minutes if it's the right person. <laughs> so I don't know. So for me is the most difficult. Okay, okay. Interesting, Kimberly. I, I will tell you that I in in my situation is completely the opposite. I think it's easy to fall in love. It's more difficult yes. to stay in ah, love. Really? Super yeah. easy. For me, it's difficult to stay in love because you need to maintain the relationship. It's very yeah. complicated. Oh. It's very complicated. Mm -hmm. Before you, you show the person, you have to know the person. For me, this is the most, I don't know, most important. And when you find, you know the person, so you more easily fall in love. Well, woman. Okay. I don't know. Man, no, no, no. That, that's the idea. Sandra, what do you think? For you, what do you think, Sandra? Um, I'm not sure. So maybe they both have the the difficult but maybe I agree with you maintain the relation is um, complicated because and fall in love people... is complicated too yeah yeah, yeah. because yeah. you need to find someone but, that wait wait for I love you let Sandra finish go ahead Sandra ah sorry 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 Sandra mm -hmm. sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay um uh, I, I don't know. Uh, maintaining the relationship is uh, uh, difficult uh, and see the, the new things that you never see and, and see the same person all the time is difficult. It's like, it's like it pupusas every day, huh? I know. You want to change? No, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. Pupusas is, is delicious. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, you know, I, I don't know. But for example, for me, I met my wife and we were dating four months. We dated four months. And then I say, this is the woman for me. And, we, and I asked her to marry me. Oh, so that's great. Yeah, I, I believe in, in the short time. Yeah, you yes. can you can know the person, the right person, and you know it. And I know it. And now uh -huh. in a in a few months, in a few months, we have 20 years married. Wow, congratulations. That is the the goal, a couple goals. I, I think so. I think the goal is to stay married because if no, if no, why married in the beginning? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not easy, but I really, wow, to me, for me, it's really, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a huge, it's huge mm -hmm. that uh, marry, the couples uh, is still together so long. Yes, I think now is more difficult. I think for the new generation is, is more and more complicated because the people, they want things fast. They want to change. They have different ideas different opinions they, they want an easier life and that to be honest the marriage is not easy it's not easy it's a lot of work so when we see yeah but congratulations but thank you thank <laughs> you very much. thank you <laughs> thank you i thank everyone for connecting as you can see today we finished lesson four section four please work in the platform and make sure that you are complete and I see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. See you good tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Have a nice night.